to go over the items that you need to make your snowmen. Tube socks. Uh, one sock can make one or two snowmen. Rice, plain old white rice. Food coloring, if you want to uh, dye any parts of your snowmen different colors. Needle and thread. A bowl to contain your rice uh, as you're filling your sock with rice. Uh, a glue gun. Um, it, that w that's helpful when attaching your embellishments and um, th those could be pom-poms or buttons or any item you can think of to dress him up. I use yarn sometimes for hair if I want my snowman to have hair or I will knit a little scarf from the yarn and I might knit a hat or I could use part of the sock for a hat. I'll show you how I do these. The first thing I'm going to do is take my tube sock and I'm going to cut it in half. Right about at the heel. Each part of the sock can make a snowman. You can use this part of the sock to make a ribbed look on your snowman or you can use this part and uh, just have it a, a smooth body of your snowman. Um, and here are some examples of some snowmen I've started. This is using the foot of the sock and I've already um, sealed up the top of this by sewing the ends together. The bottom I didn't need to seal up because it's the toe of the sock. Uh, this one I made with the, the leg of the sock so that it's ribbed and I did um, tie this off and then turned it wrong side out so that uh, the tied part is hidden inside. So that would be like the bottom of the snowman where he would sit. The top part I sewed together um, with needle and thread. And now at this point, um, you would, you would, be able, you would uh, tie something here, a piece of yarn, to distinguish between the body and the head so it's not just one big blob. So first I'm going to show you how I get started filling um, my snowman with rice. So I'll put him over a bowl because it's, the rice can go everywhere. So I will just scoop out rice like this and dump it into the sock. And I will keep filling this up until it's really full like this one. Once I have enough rice in my sock, I tie the top off. Actually, I sew the top off with a needle and thread. So I'll just take a needle and thread and start to sew the top closed. I'm going to run this through several times because I don't want any of the rice to sneak back out. The top of this will be covered um, with a hat so um, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be closed up well. Now it's time to distinguish the head from the body by tying a piece of yarn right around its middle. So. I'm going to take my yarn and pull it tight, really tight, and make a knot. Make it again. And now we have a head and a body. And I just snip these two pieces off right about here. They're going to be covered up with a scarf so this won't show and here I have two that are made from the leg of the sock that are ready to put faces on this one was made from the foot of the sock and I have put his face on and 
the way I did that was to take a piece of yarn about, this, about that long and I'm going to start with the eyes and I've taken some yarn and threaded it onto a blunt needle you can see that it's a blunt needle not a sharp one and I'm going to start by going down through the top of his head. This part's going to be covered by a hat, so this won't show. I'm going to come out where I want his eye to be, so about right there. I'm going to pull the yarn through, but not all the way. I'm going to leave about this much sticking through the top of his head. And I'm going to wind the yarn around my needle once, twice, and go back into the snowman's head, right next to this, not in the same hole that I came out of, but next to it. And then I'm going to come back out of his head next to where I went in, but not through the same hole. And I'm going to pull this through. This is a French knot. Through to, so his eye sticks out a little bit. And that's his eye. And I have these two pieces hanging out at the top. And I'll just end up tying those together um, once I'm done putting in both eyes and a nose. On this one, I chose an orange for his nose uh, to make it resemble a carrot. It sticks out a little bit. And sometimes I do the, uh, the nose the same color as the eyes and it looks like they have charcoal for a nose and the eyes. So I'm going to take another piece of yarn. Now it's time to put a hat on our snowman. I've taken the foot part of a couple of different socks and I dyed them. This one's green, I dyed this one blue, and I did that with my food coloring. I just put a little food coloring and some water in a bowl and uh, put the socks in there, scrunched them up, let them soak up the color good, and then I just hung them to dry. So now we have some pretty hats for our snowmen. So what I'm gonna do is take my snowman and I've started to do this already. I've tied this in a knot, tied these two in a knot, and I'm gonna take, these are the threads leading from this eye. I'm gonna tie them together just so things don't come undone. I'm not gonna pull it real tight, but I am gonna tie a knot just gently, just so they won't come undone. And I'm gonna take the threads, the yarn, pieces of yarn, and I'm going to snip them off about there. They're going to be covered by the hat so they won't show. I just don't want them long and hanging out outside of the hat. Do the same thing with this snowman. I've tied the first one. And this is these are the pieces of yarn that come from the nose. So I'm going to tie those together in a knot. Tie these together. These are coming from this eye in a knot. And again, I'm not pulling very tightly because I don't want to pull pull on this eye. So now we'll cut these threads. Okay, now they're ready for hats. So what I do with my hats is I turn them. I turn a rim, and now I can turn it once and give them a nice long floppy hat like this. Or I can turn it under again, which I actually I like better because then it's smooth on the top, around the rim. And put that on his head. Just with his eyes just barely peeking out. 
and he has a little hat now. And what I'll do with this is I'm going to tack this down a little so it um, under here where it doesn't show. I'm just going to take a needle and thread and, and tack it down so it's not all floppy like that, that it stays secure. And I'll also tack it um, with the uh, needle and thread to his head also um, on either side so the hat doesn't doesn't get pulled off. We want the hat to be secure so that's what I'll do with the hat. And the same thing on this snowman. He's a bigger one. He's made out of the foot and he made a much bigger snowman than, than the other one did. So I'm going to turn this under couple of times. It's going to be a stretch getting his hat on because he's a bigger snowman. It gives him a little bit different look when his hat is on. And again in the back I will just tack this piece down so it isn't floppy and I will also tack around, around the edges of this hat so that it stays secure. Now they both have hats. The snowman's hat is now secure. I've taken a needle and thread and gone all the way around the rim of the hat so that it is attached firmly to the snowman. And I've also taken some thread and gone around this part of the back of the hat so that stays down. So his hat is secure. Now it's time to put on the buttons. Um, I've made some dots where I want my buttons and I've got a glue gun all warmed up over here and I am going to take my first button and I'm going to put some glue on the back of that button just a little bit. Ouch, just glued my finger. Ow. And I'm going to put it where the dot is and press it down. You can see that. Now I'm going to take the next button, put some glue on that. And I'm going to press that button down. And that one's in place. Now my last button. I'm going to put right here. Yeah, these buttons are all in place. Now that the buttons are secured, it's time to make arms. And I have given him one arm over here, and it's uh, intended to look like a little stick arm. And I've used some brown yarn and a blunt needle to sew this on and I entered through the back of the neck so that the yarn wouldn't show where I began and ended so I started by putting my needle through the back of his neck and coming out here and then I started making my stitches all the way down and then all the way back and I came out in the back again with the other piece. And what I'll do with that, that yarn that's hanging down, is I'll tie it in a, a knot, but not pull tightly again, because I don't want to pull on this arm. So once I've done that, I can cut these threads, because a scarf is going to go around his neck and hide this. So I'm going to just leave a little tiny bit hanging and cut it right there. So I'll start this to show you how I 
begin. <laughs> okay, we're going to go down through the back of his neck. I'm going to come out about where I feel like his arm should start, which is, I would say, right about there. And I'm going to pull the needle through and pull it until there's about that much, maybe a little more. A little less, about that much hanging down in the back, so we still have something to, to tie with when we're done. So, let's lower this camera a little bit. I'm going to take my needle and enter over here and come out right there. You can see that. And then I'm going to go down where that stitch enters, right there, and come up about right there. And now I'm going to go down. here down And I'm going to continue in this manner until I get an arm looking like this, with a little hand on the end of it. Our snowman has two arms, and he's almost complete. Now it's time to give him a scarf. I'm going to take this red yarn and it's a, oh, I don't know what you call this kind of yarn. It's a funky kind of yarn that's got little bumps all over it. And it's going to make a, a nice scarf. Sometimes I do knit my scarfs or crochet them. Um, but when I have a yarn like this, it, this is much faster to do than, than bothering to knit one. So I'm going to take this yarn and wrap it around his head. His neck a couple of times maybe even maybe even a third time to make it nice and thick and I'm going to tie it off to the side and I'll have it just hang down the side here like that and we're going to clip the ends like that and he has a scarf and sometimes I will tack the scarf down if I want it to lay a certain way I'll take a needle and thread and attach the scarf to him so that it's not there aren't any loose hanging ends and it just uh, stays in a certain place across his body but this is it this is our snowman filled with rice made out of tube socks.